Hey, welcome back to Fat Mama Physics. This is uh, another video on doing example in standing waves. So that's the same worksheet 6.9 that we've been looking at. I am doing question 11. So let's get started. A horizontal aluminum rod a, of length 1.2 meters is hit sharply with a hammer. Okay, so we hit this guy here with a hammer. Uh, we, that's a terrible drawing. The hammer rebounds from the rod 0 0.18 milliseconds later. Ooh, interesting. Explain why the hammer rebounds. So after this hammer hits this side of the aluminum rod, there it's going to send a wave, a sound wave, a uh, vibrational wave to the other end and uh, to the end of the of the aluminum rod in which the uh, the wave is going to be able to reflect back and interfere with the self creating a standing wave as it creates a standing wave it's going to cause this rod to resonate and the resin as the as the rod resonates it's going to cause the um the hammer to kind of you know it's kind of like a shock it's like oh it, it rebounds back because of that shock and that's going to happen exactly whenever the first sound as it goes to the other side of the pipe, other end of the rod, and it comes back when it interferes with the wave produced at the beginning, at the, the first point of contact. That interference, um, assuming it's going to be constructive and whatnot, is going to cause a shock, causing the hammer to rebound back. Okay, so reflection off the other hand creating a standing wave, resonation, creating a resonance inside the rod, which then causes the hammer to rebound back. Okay, so next up, we have question B, calculate the speed of sound in aluminum. All right, so for B, the total length is 1.2, but in order for that sound to go forward and come back, the total distance traveled is going to be twice the length of this rod. So that's going to be 2.4 meters. And uh, over the time spent, which is 0 0.18 me, uh, milliseconds, so 0 0.18 times 10 to the power negative 3 seconds, and this is going to give you 2.4 divided by 0 0.18, 1.33333, actually, it should be 13333. How many threes is there? Uh, one, two, three, four. So this is going to be roughly 1.3 times 10 to the power of one, two, three, four, four meters per seconds for the speed of sound. Okay. Question C. The hammer created a longitudinal standing wave in the rod. Estimate the frequency of the sound wave by assuming that the rod vibrates in the first harmonic. Okay, so this again requires you to know the diagrams for your open closed pipe systems. For this particular case, because as the sound would, if it were to travel into air, it's going into a less dense medium. So this end is going to be open, and this side is also going to be open as well. What's going to happen is when, uh, for the first harmonic created, we're going to have an antinode on these ends, okay? Now, for you, us to draw the standing wave, there's no way for us to just draw a straight line, because that's, that doesn't create a wave. But what does create a wave is if this has to come down, making an node in the middle and then coming back out the other end which is the antinode this does create your first harmonic for an open pipe system so if we take a look at this this is exactly one half of a wave sorry this is one half of a wavelength okay and uh, which means if we take the length of our pipe the length of our pipe is 1.2 meters and um, if the length is 1.2 meters, that means, and 1.2 meters is half a wavelength, then the full wavelength must be twice the length, meaning 1.2 meters times 2, 2.4 meters is going to be our wavelength. What do we want? We want the, um, oh, we want the frequency. Okay. So if this is our wavelength, to get our frequency, we need to take our wave equation, which is frequency times lambda, in which frequency is just the speed of our sound divided by our lambda. The speed of sound in aluminum is going to be what we found before, 
13,333 etc. Divided by our what lambda, which is 2.4 meters, divided by 2.4, and that's going to give us 5.555 or 555.5 repeated hertz, which then we can round to 5,600 hertz, or this is 5.6 kilohertz as it is in the question. Okay, phew, all right. So here we go, another standing wave problem done. I thank you for watching. Hopefully you found this useful. Good luck, Fama Physics, signing out.